Dear Vayuts, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of a drop spitalis with findings of soft tissue edema, cardiomegaly, pericardial effusion, and ascites. The duration of the pregnancy measures slightly more than 26 weeks as per femur length and bipedal diameter, but as the fetal ascites has distended the fetal abdomen, the abdominal circumference is large for dates. Hydrops pitalis is a severe swelling edema in an unborn baby or a newborn baby. It is life-threatening problem. Hydrops develops when too much fluid leaves the baby's blood stream and goes into the tissues. As you can see in this case, this is the fetus, fetal soft tissue edema. And if the thickness of this edema, the skin thickness measures more than 5 mm, we will conclude and label it as soft tissue edema. Adopted pitalis is excessive extravasation of fluid into the third space in a fetus which could be due to heart failure, volume overload, decreased oncotic pressure or increased vascular permeability. Hydrops is defined as accumulation of fluid or edema involving at least two fetal components which may manifest as fetal pleural effusion seen in this case fetal pericardial effusion is also seen in this case and fetal ascites this is also visible in this case generalized body edema fetal anasarca natural edema cystic hygroma uh, placental enlargement polyhydromias and hepatomegaly Now you can see the heart size is a lot cardiomegaly due to the accumulation of the fluid. A baby born with hydrops pitalis may need blood transfusion and other treatments to remove the excess fluid. Even with treatment, more than half of the babies with the hydrops vitalis will die shortly before or after delivery. The risk is highest for those who are diagnosed with hydrops vitalis early, less than 24 weeks into pregnancy, and for those who have a structural abnormalities such as heart defect. As you are going to see in this case, the ascites is mild to moderate to severe. The sonographic features of hydrops vitalis are defined as the presence of two or more abnormal fluid collections in the fetus. These include ascites, pleural effusions, pericardial effusion, and generalized skin edema, defined as skin thickness more than 5 mm, as you can see in this case. All these findings are visible. Now we will talk about the mirror syndrome in the pregnancy. Mirror syndrome MS is a rare complication of fetus hydrops appearing as triple edema, fetal placental as well as maternal, in which mother mirrors the hydropic feet, fetus. Now the most common cause of fetal pericardial effusion was heart failure, fetal cystic dysplasia with oligohydramnias was also present in some fetuses. 
fetal soft tissue edema Now you can see the placenta is left lateral. This is the this is placenta. The, the female patient having two children already. This is the third pregnancy. The previous two fetuses were born normal and were normal, eco normal. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.